comments from a security officer that works at Toronto Housing and has seen the deaths and tremendous suffering of addiction. She said the following. These people are dying and living in conditions I would not wish on any human being. Why do Canadians think this is normal and allow this? I would have very harsh penalties for all people in the drug trade, maybe death but certainly very long jail sentences. I see dealers charged and released within two days and most are out of jail in less than two years. These people kill people. Addicts need to be locked up to save their lives, definitely. It is nonsense that Canada says they cannot do this. I came back from a trip to the US during COVID and I was locked into my apartment by the government for two weeks under the threat of strong action against me if I did not do this. These people are harming themselves, harming others and damaging society, they all need to steal and they all, because of the drugs, are not mentally capable. All the more reason we need to lock them up and fix them. There is the Good Samaritan Act 2001 where you can treat a person without their consent, so this is regularly done. They can be ill injured or unconscious. The rule protects you from liability. So there are exceptions to the law where you are allowed to treat and hold someone without their consent. Two cases I saw were, a man burned down his own apartment and was mentally ill. The hospital did not hold or help him. Another assaulted people out in the street. He was also not held or helped. There is something wrong in this country, 